Hi there, welcome to math class. Our title is Algebraic Identity Number 4. And uh, Algebraic Identity Number 4 is uh, like A minus B, a binomial to the power of 3. And this is equal to A to the power of 3 minus 3 a to the power of 2 b plus 3 a b to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 3 how can you find this one or how do we find this identity it is like uh, a minus b to the power of 3 it means that a minus b times a minus b times a minus b 3 times the a minus b and now this is equal to, for example, a minus b times, we know from the identity number 2, a minus b times a minus b is equal to a to the power of 2 minus 2ab plus b to the power of 2. You can go to the this algebraic identity number 2 and we find out this one. Now we multiply this one to this trinomial, the binomial to trinomial. The first uh, digit, the first uh, uh, term, a times a to the power of 2 is equal to a to the power of 3, then positive times negative is negative. 2a times 2 a times 2ab is equal to 2a to the power of 2b positive times positive positive a times b to the power of 2 is a b to the power of 2 now this term for the second term minus times positive is negative b times a squared is equal to a squared b or a to the power of 2b and then minus times minus is plus or negative times negative is positive b times 2a is 2ab to the power of 2 and the last one minus times negative times positive is negative b to the times b to the power of 2 is equal to b to the power of 3 now we simplify this one a to the power of 3 minus 2 a square a to the power of 2 and minus a to the power of 2 we add this one is minus 3 a to the power of 2 b then positive a b to the power of 2 and positive 2 a b to the power of 2 is equal to 1 plus 2 3 a b to the power of 2 and uh, finally minus b to the power of 3. We find out that a minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a to the power of 3 minus 3a to the power of 2. That means that first term to the power of 3, negative 3 times first term to the power, power of 2 times second term, then positive 3 times a the first term and then b the second term to the power of 2 and minus the last term that is b to the power of 3. Okay, now to clarify how we apply this identity, I show you an example. Uh, 2x to the power of 2 minus 
फोर वाई टू पावर ऑफ थ्री ऑल टू पावर ऑफ थ्री इज इक्वल टू द फर्स्ट टर्म टू एक्स टू पावर ऑफ टू ऑल टू द पावर ऑफ थ्री माइनस थ्री टाइम्स द फर्स्ट टर्म एट इज टू एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ टू स्क्वेर और ऑल टू द पावर ऑफ टू एंड द सेकेंड टर्म फोर y to the power of three. Then because there is no space, we continue like this. Plus three times the first term two x to the power of two, and the second term that is four y. to the power of 3 all to the power of 2 and minus the last term that is our second term that is 4y to the power of 3 all to the power of 3 now we simplify this one to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8 x is x to the power of 2 all to the power of 3 is we multiply this one or we add x to the power of 2 x to the power of 2 x to the power of 2 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 or 2 times 3 is 6 x to the power of 6 minus now this 2 is to the power of 2 2 uh, becomes 2 to the power of 2 4 4 times 3 12 4 times 12 is equal to 48 x to the power of 2 in all to the power of 2 is x to the power of 4 y to the power of 3 then plus this 4 to the power of 2 and y to the power of 3 all to the power of 2 4 to the power of 2 ta 4 times 4 is 12 2 12 24 Three times twenty-four is ninety-six, or three times two six. Six times sixteen is ninety-six. X to the power of two. Y to the power of two times three six. Minus three, four y to the power of three all to the power of three means. Four to the power of three, and this one also to the power of three. Four to the power of three means four times four times four. Four times four is sixteen, and sixteen times four is equal to sixty-four. Y to the power of three times three nine, or three times plus three plus three is also nine. It means that two x to the power of two minus four y. To power of three, all to the power of three is equal to eight x to the power of six minus forty-eight x to the power of four y to the power of three plus ninety-six x to the power of two y to the power of six minus sixty-four y to the power of nine. You know, you see that this became very easy. Yeah, otherwise, if we add this one three times to itself. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of space, and also there is the possibility of mistakes. I think that one example is enough for this identity. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with your family and friends. And please press the notification bell to get notified for more 
videos. Have a wonderful day and nice. Bye-bye.